Now, one of the applications you talked about is really in the home connectivity and yep. eliminating that HDMI cable. Uh, so first, before you go into the detail here, tell us a bit about how you, uh, I guess, the, the background of the company and some of the proprietary IP that you have yeah. for solving this high uh, high speed data or video transfer. Yeah. So Sidebeam's core heritage is CMOS RF and beamforming technology and doing it at millimeter wave frequencies, so 60 gigahertz specifically. Right. And at 60 gigahertz, the challenge is to get the performance inside, you have got to have some very uh, elaborate technology to allow for the video transfer and the reliability of the link. Mm -hmm. So we do that without being forming and we do it very low cost, high performance with CMOS RF technology. So that's the core IP. Mm -hmm. And then uh, relating to the problem we have inside the home, the biggest challenge is how do you transfer video from one device to another reliably, mm -hmm. very high quality, high performance, because video doesn't allow for buffering or other things. People want to use it real time. So the biggest problem you said today is you got all the streaming video inside the home and you have this Wi-Fi problem. Wi-Fi is a great technology, but it buffers. We see that in hotel rooms and offices, other places. So what we're doing is we're saying, look, you can now stream video from one device to another seamlessly, similar to what you would do in a wire equivalent to a wire in terms of speed, performance, reliability, and quality. And this opens up to a lot of applications because it's not just the throughput, it's also the latency. We have near zero latency around very few microseconds. So this goes back to you know, interactive applications, you know, you can think about gaming, you can think mm -hmm. about, you know, ways that you interact with Oculus or Samsung or VR applications inside the home where you want a very fast response time. So basically, gigabit throughput, very low latency, Streaming, streaming applications everywhere in the home. So, to put it in layman's terms, I use Apple TV and Chrome. Yes. And I inevitably, I'm streaming to my TV. Yep. And it just doesn't flow smoothly. Right. Um, what, what, why isn't it moving slow? It's going over Wi-Fi, but what's yeah. happening that causes that buffering on existing technology? Well, I think one of the fundamental issues is Wi-Fi was not designed to provide that quality of service and that performance, so you're already sharing it with lots of other uh, you know, streams happening and then you were having back off because of that. With wide gig and our wireless HD technology, you're going to provide that high quality of service, maintain that link reliability and allow you to stream independently of all the other users. So you're basically getting a wired like connection. Yeah. And because you have so much more bandwidth at the 60 gigas, you're, you've got nearly 7 gigas of spectrum. It's much more and more spectrum than Wi-Fi has. So really we have an advantage of that. But then the challenge is to make that 60 gigas work, you need to have this beamforming technology to allow that quality and reliability. And that's what we provide. 